You will not believe how this woman found out that her father was a ghost. Taye grew up in Aja, Lagos, and according to her story, she grew up knowing just her father and her twin brother, Kende. They didn't go out of the house often as little children, they were always indoors. And she said her father didn't have a job, but he always had money. And whenever they wanted to go to the market, the father would give them a guard and he would tell them to squeeze it before they left the house. However, she began suspecting things wasn't right the day she left the house without the guard. She opened the door to headstones and lots of bushes. That was when it occurred to her that she was in a cemetery. Out of fear, she ran back inside the house and her father yelled at her to never leave the house without the guard. But this was only the beginning. As a child, Taye only remembers her father went out at night, but she didn't know where he went. One day she begged to follow him, and when he agreed, they went out to the busy street of Lagos. Somewhere along the line, they came across a food vendor whose pot of stew was boiling without a fire. When Taye asked her father how that was possible, the lady slapped her. Taye thought her father would fight for her. Instead, he begged the woman to forgive her. Taye said she recalled the woman saying, Your daughter is not one of us. She will expose us. At this time, she still didn't understand what was happening. Her father took her back home and never went out at night with her again. But the day Taye understood everything was the day her twin brother, Kende, died. When Taye became of age, about 13 years or so, her father brought a husband for her and soon she got pregnant and had three kids for the man. But when her father wanted to bring a wife for her brother Kende, Kende turned it down and said to his father, I will not marry your kind. Taye said she asked her brother what he meant by that. But Kende didn't give her an explanation, citing that she was a woman and she wouldn't understand. So one day as they were eating, Kende coughed and choked and then died. Taye said her father just stood there watching as his son died without trying to help. When Kende died, father took his body out. She said it was at this point she knew something was up, but she needed to be convinced. After Taye's brother died, she gathered up the courage to ask her father about his own people, about his mother, his father, his siblings. The father told her that he was from Akure and after so much pressure, he agreed to take her and her children to Akure. When they got to the compound, Taye's father just pointed at the house for them and said that he was coming that he wanted to go and see a friend. When Taye went to the house, she introduced herself but they told her that the man she claimed was her father has been dead for a long time. They even pointed at the grave where they buried Taye's father. But she wasn't shocked. She always knew she just needed to be convinced. So she picked up her kids and headed back to Lagos, hoping her father would explain better in person. Unfortunately for her, she could not trace her way back home because she lost her guard. Taye, unable to find her guard, could not trace her way back home in Aja. She became stranded, but she soon remembered her husband's people's place in Ocean State. So she found a way and took her kids to Ocean State and eventually located her husband's people. When she located the compound, she introduced herself and her children as their son's wife and kids. But they told her the same thing. The man she's claiming to be her husband had been dead for many years. But the mother-in-law saw the resemblance of her son in the kid's face. And that was how she was convinced that these children are the kids of her dead son. And because of that, she let Taye stay with them as she had nowhere else to go. Taye and her kids currently live with her ghost husband's family in Ocean State.